Welcome to the third video in a set of, I hope, three uh, videos, which are just going to be uh, introducing Fusion 360 and some new ways of doing things to SOLIDWORKS users uh, here in MET. Uh, the goal here today has been to model this positive drive bit, which we've done. Um, we've got it set up, we've got it done. One, just a couple more things to look at here, just to finish us all off. Uh, sort of CAD, uh, tidy up things. Um, oh. One thing that we would like to keep track of is materials and all the rest. Uh, got bodies, uh, components, all that sort of stuff in Fusion. Uh, one thing that we need to keep track of is what this thing is made of. Fusion allows uh, multiple materials, materials in one file. However, to get that, you need to create components. We have here a file or a design of only one body. It's not a bad idea to call this, to create a component. Uh, you can do this first or you can do it after. We're gonna rename this first, PZ2. And it's 25 millimeters length. So, one thing we can do in this is to create a component in Fusion. And this is not essential for this part because there's only one part in the file or in the design. But if we right click on these bodies, create components from bodies, it should take its name up to the component. So you'll see in the history, we have this new icon. However, we now have the ability to select the component on its own, the component on its own. And we can pattern this guy and all the rest of it. So we can also export this to another design or have a design reach in and grab this component. So this is how the beginnings of how Fusion creates and controls complicated assemblies. And it is really good at assemblies. Uh, each design essentially is a design uh, assembly, even if there's only one part in it and even if there's only one component in it. Now we've created a component we can right click on it and change its physical material. Right now, it's of steel. Now that's reasonable, but what if it's not? What if we want to make it of someone else? Uh, there's a long list in here. There's no way to search yet uh, as of 2022. So you have to kind of traverse. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, so let's make it out of stainless instead for some reason. And we'll go for stainless steel AI SI317. Grab it and drag it on. We'll probably change how it, how it shows. And you'll see that there's two things in here now, steel. But you can find out what it's selected with. Oh, sorry, you can select things that are using this material. Nice. So we've changed its material. We can now ask for, for example, uh, properties. which component is selected. Right now, you can unselect, reselect. So you can pick components within your assembly. You can see what it's called, what it's made of. Open up physical. This is for managing item number, life cycle revision, so on and so forth. So forth. Physical can show you mass, surface area, where it is, center of mass, so on and so forth. Uh, if you really want more, uh, Fusion is quite thorough. <laughs> Uh, moment of inertia's moment of inertia at origins, uh, so on and so forth. So that's all available. You can copy it to a clipboard uh, to reuse for other things. Next, uh, in the top left here, which we haven't talked about yet, there are what they call workspaces. There are as many of them. Generative design, rendering, animations, simulation, Manufacturer drawings. Rendering is easy. Click it once. Uh, you can close your gallery if you wish. You just press go. We'll do a remarkably good job of just showing your object. If you don't like how shiny this is, for example, stop it. Set up appearance. You can either click A, pick appearance. Which one is it? 
that's the one. If I double click this, I can change my roughness, for example. This is just local in this file, it's not changing it globally. There's an advanced uh, button here for a whole bunch of other stuff to say okay. It's picky, cancel. It's picked up the new thing, run it again. Uh, this Mac in particular is not a very fast renderer, but once it's running, you can kind of drag it around. You don't have to stop it to get the shadows, for example, very exciting or a, a more industrial design type view. It's up to you. Uh, this is largely controlled by the speed of your processor, I believe. It's not the graphics card doing this yet. Uh, as of now, I hear they're working on the rendering engine, but for now it's as it is. If you move anything, it will restart. If you want to save it, uh, you can capture an image. You can also render to the cloud and all sorts of things. Uh, simulation, which we'll do other videos for, uh, starts with uh, getting started with what type of simulation you want to do. There's lots of stuff in there. And we will be spending most of our time in design though. So there we go. That's how to change, create a component, pick a material, change the appearance. Hopefully that's of some use. And that's it for these series of videos. We will see you in class for more fun and frolicking.